Okay, hello, Virgo. Shit. Just got that all over. Way to go. It's okay. I'll clean it. <coughs> oh my gosh, how interesting to during your read. I know some Virgos that are just very, very cleanly, very organized. I don't know. Except my younger brother. He's a Virgo, and he's not that very clean or organized. But I feel like a lot of Virgos I know are. Anyway, but I don't know. That's just... This is um, <laughs> your May 2019 reading. Um... Ooh, okay. Three of Wands. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, okay. Um, you guys are, um... Very focused on something. You could be very focused on creating something. Maybe... <clears throat> But what? We'll keep that in mind. The Wheel of Fortune. Maybe we'll keep that off to the side. at the bottom of the deck somebody could be dealing with a fire sign you don't have to be it could just be someone that's in that energy okay okay oh okay um hmm. interesting so like I said, I'm just going to leave the Wheel of Fortune off to the side. So, um, the wheel is here in May. The wheel is turning. I feel like uh, this is what the wheel is bringing in. So, the Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles... I mean... Take it how it resonates. Maybe you guys are in this King of Wands energy or you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm feeling like this is you guys, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you could be in this energy. Or this is just, this is you. I feel like, who, I feel like you're dealing with this energy, with this person. Um... You know, the King of Wands, um, he's a leader, he is a visionary, he's creative, he is passionate. He takes action. And the Queen of Pentacles here, um... This is a very, in this deck, she uses um, earth and water elements. So maybe this is someone who has earth and water in their chart, or you have earth and water in your chart. Um, but this is someone who's very healing, very nurturing. Could be very fertile, just very abundant overall. This is also someone who is a leader, who is mature. This is this is two mature people here. 
And then, like I said, someone here, I feel like it's you guys, have been very focused, have been creating, have been manifesting some sort of offer, some sort of opportunity. I feel like you guys manifested the Ace of Pentacles, um, or this is what, you know, you guys have manifested the wheel to turn the ace of pentacles is here so this is um an offer a solid offer um whatever this offer was maybe it was a relationship offer um could be a job offer um just some sort of offer and It brought in emotional fulfillment for you. Uh, I feel like it did or it will make you very happy depending on if this situation has played out already for you or not or this has yet to come in. Um, now, I don't know if someone here is heartbroken about like I don't know if there will be a breakup or some sort of heartbreak or if someone is holding on to heartbreak from their past maybe um someone here gets like a new relationship offer um and you're very happy about it, but maybe there's still some sort of lingering heartbreak here. So, maybe this is this other person's energy because... Behind that, there's Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. So maybe this King of Wands, whoever this King of Wands person is, whether it's a fire sign or just someone in this type of energy. This, this person is up at night. They're overwhelmed. They're overthinking can't sleep, um, Ten of Wands, they have a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities that's weighing heavy on them, um, that's weighing heavy on their mind, could be affecting them physically, perhaps, um, and then we have Nine of Pentacles after that. <clears throat> after that, so that Nine of Pentacles is uh, Virgo. So... You could be on this person's mind as well. I don't know, this this person stressing about something, or maybe it's you stressing about something. Maybe it's the both of you. Hmm. I don't know, that Three of Swords is just... It's like we have really great cards, and then... I don't know what the Three of Swords is about. Um, <clears throat> but you're being asked to have trust, to have faith, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path or 
whatever path this is that you're on. You have oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. So some of you guys might be getting into reading oracle cards for yourself or maybe you're just watching readings or you're getting personal readings done. Um, maybe some of you guys are feeling compelled, feeling called to start reading cards. Maybe someone has the desire to help others heal through the use of oracle cards or tarot cards. So you're being told by spirit to practice and have trust, have faith. Um... And if you guys do find yourself in this Three of Swords energy it, it, it may for some reason, just have faith, have, have trust. Or maybe someone had to let go of something. Maybe someone had, had, um had to lose something before the wheel could turn. You have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong, uh, making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. So, oh, bottom of the deck, mending bridges. I heal rifts, I am a mender. So you guys could be just um, working on healing yourself in May, um, maybe mending bridges with yourself, with others. Um, I see you guys standing strong, standing firm um, with any decisions that you make this month. Um, yeah, some of you guys are really determined to make a difference in the world. Um... And you really want to help heal people. You might want to help people heal emotionally. Um, yeah, maybe some of you guys are just standing firm in your in your decision to start uh, reading oracle cards, and maybe some. Um, Maybe some people around you just aren't supportive and don't understand. And maybe maybe that's why the Three of Swords energy is here. And you guys, um, with this Queen of Pentacles energy, maybe you're just standing firm, standing strong in yourself, um, being emotionally sound within yourself. Um, having trust, having faith, um, taking on this King of Wands energy, um, keeping the vision, um, you know, th Three of Wands, keeping focus, keeping um, that creative energy going, keeping that, that, that determination and that passion to um, keep making a difference, to keep practicing, to keep to keep reading. Yeah. <clears throat> and maybe that's why some of... Maybe this... Like I was saying, if this was your... If this is also your energy, you know, you guys could have been up at night, just not... You know, understanding why, um, why, like, why you're not being supported 
in your decision in, in, in your decision to read tarot cards or or whatever it is that you feel compelled to do maybe it's not oracle cards maybe um you know some of you guys are just going to to um to readers and <clears throat> looking for advice that'll make a difference maybe in your perspective <coughs> Or someone's just holding on or someone just because the three of swords um maybe someone's hung up on a negative memory because swords are also mental energy Hmm. Okay, Virgo, you have number twenty seven, maintain your childlike spirit, number sixteen, inner truths. Number 47, laughter, bottom of the deck.